What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I have a very cool build for you all and I'm actually very excited about this one because it is sponsored by a company called Gamdias and they've sent over a few of their really awesome products to feature in the build. So let's go ahead and roll the intro and get right into the parts we're using. Let's go. So starting things off, I want to again give a huge thank you to Gamdias for making this build happen. Uh, they are a manufacturer of all sorts of computer hardware and peripherals and even gaming furniture if you guys uh, take a look at their website. So if you guys are looking for some new gear, check the link in the description and give them a look. Okay, so starting with the parts that Gamdias sent us, the first thing they sent us is the Athena M2 mid tower case that will be housing all of our parts in. This case features a detachable asymmetry mesh design front panel, uh, three built-in 120 millimeter Trio ring ARGB fans, two LED strips with neochrome color streaming lighting effects, ARGB sync via motherboard, power cover design for your PSU, magnetic dust filters, a seamless tempered glass window, and a one touch easy switch on the front panel IO to give you any of those lighting styles that you could ever want and control your fans as well. The second piece of hardware from Gamdios that we are using today is the Shion E1A 120R 120 millimeter AIO liquid CPU cooler. God, that was a mouthful. Okay, this cooler features RGB ring lighting on the pump as well as the RGB logo lighting and it also has a dual RGB ring fan included for the radiator. It has a remote control that controls both the fans and the pump and can easily switch to 55 different lighting effects. It also comes with a splitter box called the Aeolus Box 2, which you can add up to six fans and two additional LED strips. And guess what guys, it's magnetic. Thank you. All right, now the CPU I chose for this build is going to be the Ryzen 7 1700. With eight cores and 16 threads, this first gen Ryzen processor is still amazing for gaming, editing, and streaming. I know this because I used to daily drive one in my build. I'm using this because I was able to find it on the Facebook marketplace for only 60 bucks. But if you're not as lucky as me and you're not being able to find anything on the used market right now for a good price, I suggest going with the Ryzen 5 1600 AF which can be had for only $85 brand new on Amazon right now and is basically the CPU of choice for a build like this. For our motherboard, I'm going with the MSI B350 Gaming Plus. Now you might be looking at this motherboard and be saying, Ricky, isn't that the motherboard that died in one of your previous videos? And you would be absolutely right. This motherboard did die on me, but I decided to take advantage of that three year warranty that a lot of boards come with and RMA the board. And now, as far as I can tell, it works just fine. I tested it yesterday with all the components we're gonna use and everything booted up just fine. So you can get B350 boards like this for very cheap on the used market. But if you guys prefer something new, I'll list the B450 option in the description down below for you. Our GPU choice in this build is going to be the MSI RX 580 Gaming X 8 gigabyte model. I was able to secure this thing for only $100 on the used market, which was absolutely a steal for the performance you can get out of this thing. Normally, they go for something like 120 to 150 on eBay, but alternatively, if you want something new, you can go with a 5500 XT from AMD, but this will cost you a bit more and you still basically get the same performance other than the fact that it takes advantage of the new GDDR6 memory rather than the GDDR5 in the RX 580 we're gonna be using today. For memory, we went pretty standard with 16 gigs of Team T-Force Dark Z in 3200 megahertz, which I've used a bunch of times on this channel and it works great with Ryzen builds. Next, for the power supply, we went with a Cooler Master Master Watt 550 watt bronze rated power supply because I was able to get this on the used market really cheap. Um, alternatively, you can interchange this with whatever bronze rated power supply at least that you want. Um, and I would suggest going with something that's at least 500 watt. And I'll leave a link in the description for something that you guys can choose. And lastly, for storage, we went with a single one terabyte SSD from Crucial, specifically the BX500 because it was $99 on Newegg at the time, which is basically the price you wanna pay for an SSD of that capacity. Okay, so now that we have all the parts out of the way and you guys know what you're gonna be building, cue the build montage and let's get building.
guys, so the build is finished. Uh, it's back here installing software and Windows and everything like that. Um, so as far as build experience with the GamDS products and everything like that, it was actually really good. Um, as far as the, the Athena M2 case, I really liked it. Uh, very easy case to work in as far as I'm concerned. Had plenty of, you know, cable manning options. And, uh, you know, just a couple little quirks that you could find in there um, if you're a first time builder. But I'm sure, you know, with a little bit of, you know, tweaking and stuff like that, it's a pretty good case for anybody that wants to get it. And honestly, that RGB lighting that comes with it is pretty awesome. So, uh, yeah, very heavily, uh, you know, weighed on that part of the case. But um, the only thing I did not like about it is it has those, you know, cheap little um, removable PCI covers that basically once you pop them out, they are not ever being able to put back on there again. So if you, you know, have for whatever reason need to close that slot back up, you're not gonna be able to do it. So that's my only one caveat about the case. But other than that, really good. The, um, the AIO that they sent me as well, very awesome, super quiet for an AIO and uh, that pump and everything like that, the lighting on it looks super, super great. Uh, we're gonna test the temps here in just a second when I'm gaming and I'll tell you about that at the end. Uh, but overall, great build experience. So the only thing we have left to do is to go ahead and benchmark the thing. So let's go ahead and run some benchmarks. All right guys, so that's it for this one. Uh, I am very impressed with the performance of this machine and is an awesome option for someone who wants to destroy games in 1080p but also might want to make the jump to 1440p. 
Now, you're certainly not going to be getting super high refresh rate numbers at 1440p, make sure you keep that in mind, uh, but I believe a build like this gets you in the door for that and opens you up for a nice GPU upgrade later when you want to make the jump to a high refresh rate, high detail gaming. And again, a huge thank you to our sponsor, Gamdias. And just so you guys know, the Athena M2 mid tower case is $99.99 right now on Newegg. And for that price, I think it's a very nice case. On the cooler side of things, the AIO that they sent, um, it is $79.99 and I absolutely love it actually. I think it's totally worth that price um, and I have nothing bad at all to say about it. Looks cool, works, um, and as you can see right Right here uh, the temps were great um, I did a run a Cine Cinebench R20 and the temps only reach a little over 50 degrees Celsius at very max load really nice so you are indeed paying a bit more for these products but in my opinion if you want some superior cooling and a very premium look you won't get it with a stock AMD cooler obviously and a case that's you know sub $50 it's very basic um, and all products I use in this video, as well as other options that I've given you guys, will be linked in the description below. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop me a like. I always love seeing you guys do that. And if you guys are a fan of content like this and you guys wanna see what else my channel has to offer you, be sure to get subscribed and turn those notifications on so you can be the first to know when a new video or a new stream will be going live. But until then, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.